Let's look at some of the issues with the web browser on Android. This is my Sony Ericsson Xperia X10i, which runs version 1.6 of Google's Android operating system for mobile phones. Let's bring up a web page to show you what I mean. I'm starting off with the home page of my blog, purely because I know what's on there. Let's take a look at the Find On Page feature, which allows us to find instances of particular text on a web page. And I'm going to look for the word Hotmail, which I know does appear on there. Now I've only typed in the first few letters and already it's found a word. I see it there highlighted in green. But notice that we can't actually see what this word is. Again, we can't see the word that it's found because it's obscured behind the dialogue for finding the word. You can see it there highlighted in green. It's just a bad user interface design. The word it's found was Hotmail. Probably always was Hotmail, but we had no way of knowing that. Let's try another word. I've typed in the first few letters of the word Microsoft and it's found a word. It probably has found the word Microsoft, but again it's, it's found 36 matches there, but the word it's found is obscured behind the dialogue for finding the word. This makes the find on page feature pretty useless, especially for finding multiple instances of a, of a word on a page. It's actually a bit hit and miss if we repeat this process. Sometimes we'll be able to see the word it's found, sometimes we won't. Let's take a look at the bookmarks now. The bookmarks on the mobile phone browser built into the Android operating system. My biggest gripe with the bookmarks on the browser, on Android, is that there's no structure, there's no way to organise your bookmarks. So, bear in mind this is supposed to be a serious web-enabled mobile phone, and there's actually no way to organise your website, so once you get past kind of 30, 50, 100 bookmarks in your list of favourites, you just spend your whole time scrolling through trying to find the one you're looking for, which kind of defeats the object of having bookmarks in the first place. This is in contrast, for example, with the bookmarks on Opera 5 Mini, uh, which I do have installed on this phone, uh, which does allow you, as you would expect from any decent web browser, to organise your bookmarks and favourites using a simple folder structure. Let's take a look at a file sharing website to show you my third and probably my biggest gripe with the web browser that's built into Android, which is that you can't upload files. One of the limitations with the Android operating system is it doesn't come with any file explorer, and I guess that's one of the obstacles to up uploading files, but uh, I've got to tell you, it makes it pretty useless. So if I want to upload a file on SkyDrive, I choose Add Files. And wait for that to load. This takes me through to the file upload form. Unfortunately, as you're about to see, the file upload form control is disabled in Android's web browser. So you can't upload files. I'm all for the idea of apps and downloading apps, and there are thousands of apps available for Android and available for iPhone, but it just seems a bit gimmicky when you haven't even got the basic functionality in the operating system like the ability to explore files or in the web browser like the ability to organise your favourites and upload files. This is what a file upload control looks like on a web page viewed through Android's web browser. Upload, uploads disabled. Absolutely useless. These are probably my three biggest complaints with the web browser uh, on Android but there are others.